came to Keene and said, hey, I want to do something fun for Earth Day. I'm going to be in town. The idea was to do some sort of engagement with the public to talk about the activities that are happening around the world, but also here in Portland uh, with opportunities to volunteer. This installation evolved from that initial conversation. Exploring the idea of Earth Day and what it means to me, I thought about my work, which is going out and tapping into the macro and the mega. Mega meaning mount the mountains and macro meaning the small little elements. And I thought about all the worlds that come together to make the planet, all the little worlds of science and uh, macrobiotics and, and uh, lichen on a rock or a massive mountain. And so infinite worlds, one Earth, is all of those little things coming together for one our one planet. So I didn't go into it with a real orchestrated plan. I wanted each piece to be spontaneous. There was no pencil preparation drawings. It was just straight ink right into the wood. And this kingfisher I finished, I don't know, three hours ago. The doors are opening in a few minutes here. The crab was a special one to me because this is from a trip to Acadia National Park where my daughter and I were um, looking for crabs. The various landscapes are pretty much from my mind, but I tried to think of places I've been. This is kind of like an alpine tundra above tree line. And then if you come inside, I filled the inside with circles. So people tonight will be filling in their own worlds. Hopefully we'll get some pretty interesting drawings tonight. So I call myself an accidental activist. It's by default in response to things that are happening around the world. My approach with activism is use what is personal to me and what my strengths are. My strengths are a visual language, using my art to connect with a universal audience through simple lines and storytelling. Uh, invite them to find themselves in the story. Working with Keen gives me a broader audience than I could have myself. And what's exciting to me are the projects that come out of the Keen Effect office here. Keen has a staff of people that are dedicated to causes in the world. They see a need and they rally to see how can we approach this, how can we make this better, and what are the tools that we can use. And oftentimes that's the ambassadors. So we get involved in these projects to take what we're passionate about and use the Keen machine to get our voices amplified into the world. After this, there's a group of us that are going to head straight to D.C. to join in the climate march on the mall and be part of the voice of people that are concerned about what's happening in our environment. The climate march, for me, uh, is a chance to be part of a larger voice. You know, I spend my time out in the mountains, out in the trails, and these are places that are personal to me, and I see change. I want to be a part of progress, a part of what's happening to the planet and, and have my voice heard as well.